Uh, all right, I am back. Here we go. It's getting a little hungry, so I'm gonna eat some uh, some grape tomatoes. I love tomatoes. But you guys probably don't want to hear me chewing on them. Those in my Discord. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so good. My wife, she, she found them. I think at Jewel. They okay, buy one, get one free. So she bought two of them. She's like, oh, it's so good. And I've just been going to town on them. I mean, you also have the healthy candy. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I'm gonna mute the Discord while I'm chewing, so that way you don't like, you know, hear me chew. <laughs> Alright, nice carrier, no subs. Tier 10. Middle tier. Oh no. Oh no. Neptune, what are you doing? Wow. Scrambled eggs with cheese and grape tomatoes. Awesome. Now, these guns are pretty high velocity, really good AP. It's got reload booster, which Ujam used earlier. Um, and it's like, you know, personally, I, I've never made the AP work. <laughs> so to see what you just did to that uh, Neptune, beautiful. Kind of stopped playing Jean Bart after I... Got Ron Burgundy, the Burgon. Oh, Burgon is fun. I enjoy Burgon a lot. Mm-hmm. Dutch, if you think about it, the amount of knowledge you need to have in this game is massive. All of these different ships, different consumables, every line of ships is, is a little bit different. Right? And so, at this point, if you're playing, especially at the higher tiers, I mean, one thing that makes uh, the high tiers distinctive versus the middle and low tiers is you have so many more consumables on so many more ships. It's just, how can you remember? And then, of course, the fact that Jean Bart isn't being sold anymore, except for the Jean Bart Black, um, even then, you know, there aren't that many out there anymore, so. Yeah, Burgon's a good one. Yeah, Snob, you're exactly right. Um, you have to go outside the game to find knowledge about what you're fighting against, and there's just no time. Um, rip your St. Louis. And Dutch, yes, exactly. That's a reason to not rush, right? Um, oh, I forgot to I forgot to thank a couple people that followed. Uh, Teal Wiz with the follow earlier. Give me trouble, follow too, and Techno Mike as well. Thank you guys. Um, Sean Royal, I think I forgot to uh, thank you as well for following. So really appreciate that, guys. Um. I'm curious who Jim. Hey, Cochlin. I'm curious your decision to turn this way. Is it because you figure you're winning that side? No, you're going to lose that side. Maybe. I don't know. 
What made you what made you choose to go this way? <laughs> Oh right, yeah. And then there's overmatch and other mechanics that that aren't uh, that aren't even mentioned. So. Totally agree. You like staying in the middle to get broadsides with battleships? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. So you're you're just trying to move around. main reason I was asking who jam is because a lot of times I find when I play Jean Bart I like to park near islands kind of like where you're ending up here and a, a pretty strong position for Jean Bart is that island going into a you know and when you were moving mid there was an Akizuki that was last spotted there so that's why I thought it seemed a little it felt a little sus you know <laughs> Moving into the middle like that. Nice hit on the Proisin. You're about to get another one thanks to your reload booster. And, and wows, you don't mention Overmatch, Overmatch mentions you, right? Um, there's actually a mod that I used to run when I was first grinding up ships. And this mod would display Above the target marker uh, of who I was, you know, looking at, uh, actually above all target markers, it would display torpedo range. Um, so, because, you know, the, the one thing that I always struggled with early on was, does this person have torpedoes or not, right? Um, so it's always confusing to remember who's got torps, who doesn't. And then, um, I think it also... I think there's also a mod that shows if they've got hydro or if they've got radar for the side panels. Uh, it's not updated, I think, with this most recent patch or whatever, because I usually uh, run that mod too. And that comes in really handy, like the, the range of that kind of stuff. I mean, again, there's just so much you have to keep, you know, in your mind. All right, one bag of cherry tomatoes gone. Woohoo! Alright, for those of you guys that are hanging out in Discord, I'm gonna uh, unmute now, so because I know sometimes you like to have one thing going or whatever, so. Well, yeah, at the, at the low to mid-tier, Dutch, I mean, torpedo is the big thing, right? Now, I like that you're backing up here. Um, I mean, you're you're basically forcing the Proisin back. That's quite a bit. I'm curious, though, as to why your other ships are pushing so hard. That's right, Dutch. Yep. That's why I like having my mod that shows torpedo ranges here on the on the side panels, you know? It just gives me that information right in front of me. I don't have to, like, look... Whoa, nice double kill. Or, no. Not a double kill, I'm sorry. That was a division kill. Oh, it's Savage. Savage Nation. Okay. I know him. Randoms have been full-blown push the caps all the time. It's either that or the complete opposite and hide behind islands, right? I don't know if you were here for the first part of the stream, Who Jam, but in the first hour or so I was doing Ranked and my first game... I had a New York that just 
just sat behind an island. Eventually died. <laughs> You're contributing. <laughs> Oh, almost. Snipe at 20 kilometer with the German battleship. That's the way you do it. Now here, I would actually recommend to turn to the right, go through the channel, uh, and put yourself in a position, or even, no, don't go through the channel. Just, just put yourself in the channel, because you can nail the Musashi when he comes out with his broadside. Might actually be able to pull off the trick shot here. One. Well, fortunately for you, the Musashi stopped long enough so that you can reload your guns. And look at this position. You knew Montana was coming up through there? Well, what I'm talking about is just that little channel. Where's my mouse cursor? Mouse cursor, where are you? Nice, there's the citadel. Right here, can you guys see that in the... Yay, right here. That little channel right there allows you to still back up if you need to. Um, I don't think you'd want to come straight out because they have the Montana's there. But hey, I mean, you, you did the other thing and look at what you're doing. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Jeez. Nice crack, dude. So now it's like, who do you go after? Do you go after the lion? Do you go after the hornet? Or do you go after the holland? If you ask me, you go after the hornet while shooting the lion. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people look at the wiki either. They should, because there's there's a lot of good stuff you can learn from there, but... Yeah, the I was best, actually... A, a, go ahead. Best Let's, thing about the wiki is all the pictures. <laughs> well, thank you. This is Who Jam's replay Dust Awaits. Otherwise known as Jimmy Jam. And the reason Putin said... The best part of the wiki is the pictures, because he knows that's what I was doing for the wiki, is I was taking pictures for most of the ships and stuff. I did not know that. Wow, how ironic. <laughs> <laughs> now, I am curious, Ujam, why you didn't go after the Hornet. Is it because you're kind of lowish on health and you wanted to be near uh, a friend? <laughs> Putting very convincing, yes. Boring though, new players are going to want to jump into the ships. And, yeah, they, right. And I think that's one of the reasons why uh, Wargaming never really made a tutorial or whatever, because they, they probably figure most uh, new players, you know, they don't like reading instructions. Yes, my blackmail pictures. So... Concern about where the Holland was, because then it would be a double team, is what you were thinking. Okay. Well, and that was my thought, uh, exactly, SAT. Like, you can you could shoot the lion while getting closer to the Hornet's last known location. And then just get more damage. And, I mean, keep in mind, this is SAT we're talking about, who is all about XP gain. We saw that uh, Johan De Witt game... Uh, what was it, last week? I had reload right. boost there. Yeah, I, I, he's out of reload boosters. But otherwise, it would be a good time to do it, yes. And actually going after the Hornet, um, the other thing that's nice about going closer to the Hornet is you get to shoot down more of his planes. And a Confederate, because why not? A lot of people forget plane kills are worth a lot of XP. And Irjan Bart has pretty darn good anti-air. Navi 1965, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate that. Hope you're having a great Christmas. 
Or if you're on the other side of the world, hope you had a great Christmas. You have 66 plane kills in your jump part. Very nice. I think I have, um... My highest record, I think, was like the Flint or Atlanta on op one of the operations. Uh, Hermes. And I think I had like 140 some odd plane kills or something, but... All right, let's pull up your replay. There's the Jean Bart. There it is. And let's take a look at this game. I'm going to have to get rid of my camera again. Stevie's probably fine over there. Wife Agro and Shadow the Demonic Hero. Congratulations, you have ones. Fifty percent rigged, he says. So look at that. You've already got that triple sit on. I, I mean, I don't know what that Neptune was thinking, but I mean, hey, you got him. Yeah, this part right here is the part that I thought was just really dangerous because that Aki could have tried something. Um, and you can see for a while he sits and smokes and just farms you for a bit. Jean Bar has 32 millimeter armor, so if he's running on FHE, then he'll chew up your armor pretty pretty easily. And then of course there's the torpedo threat too. So the the decision to stop, you know, and not go all the way into B was very smart. Aspruza Ed, thanks very much for the follow. I hope I pronounced that correct. But yeah, I mean, everywhere you go, you just you just found broadside ships that you could slap high in. It's very interesting. You were surprised you didn't get a wither on the Preussen? You mean an arsonist? Did you get the... I think you got the kill on him, right? Yeah, Arsonist, yeah. Well, you would have if you would have kept shooting HE, but you wouldn't have as much damage. So... So, like, right here, this is the part I'd hit full W and just go to the carrier. I mean, 223,000 damage is pretty sexy, but but you want more. All right, here's the kill. Well, thanks for sending that one in, Hujam. That was that was certainly a nice replay to watch. Um, not too much feedback to give you. So, GG.